All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters, you too, it's Pastor Dow. You know, the Bible says the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools only want. That's it, period, period. Um, so you have to be careful of the type of company that you keep. You really, truly do. You need to. You need to guard your heart. Um, and this is just wisdom for the day that we're living in. And you need to guard it because you think about this for a second. I want everybody to try to use a little bit of self autonomy for a second. Your life and the pattern of your life pretty much goes based around the company you keep and the environment that you're in. If you're in an environment where a bunch of people are a bunch of whoremongers, what are you going to end up doing? If you're not strong in mind and if you're strong in mind and you don't like whoremonger then what in the world are you doing in their company in the first place if you are a gossiper or slanderer which women got that bad um, you can only have peace in your mind when you're in the company of those who gossip and slander do you understand and you can't be at peace in the fellowship of those who are righteous because you have to understand the Bible also says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. That means every single time you open it up your mouth, there go your heart. And if there's anything that can tear up a person's soul that will cause a lot of sicknesses and diseases in their life, it's that mouth. It's that mouth because, see, it's spiritually connected because the body is a barometer to the spiritual realm. And somebody need to tell you. I mean, I've been thundering it forever, and, and nobody don't want to hear me. A, a few people do, but you have to understand. You, I, I, how do you say this? I don't know. I, I've been trying to say it a thousand different ways, every which way, but a, but a 450 billion other ways. But if you don't get this thing, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to flat out die. And life is about living a quality of life. Everybody's living. Um, on this earth right now that has breath in their body, but everybody doesn't have a quality of mind, a life. And, and the majority of people, they don't have a sound mind. I mean, they really truly do not have what you will call a sound mind today. Well, I tell you what, you be careful of the company you keep. Uh, if you want to be righteous, you hang around people who are striving for righteous. Uh, because remember, a, a righteous person has a total different attitude and a total different outlook on life than a fool that is always wanting. Uh, and that's just the truth. It's just a flat out truth. So pay attention to what your nature, because there's a room for improvement for every single one of us. So you pay attention to what your nature likes being around. Because whatever you like being around, that's the person, the type of person you are and the person not only many of you have become, but that's the person that you're gonna be and die um, that way. And and most people, it's sad to say, I say, I'm gonna remind us of it again, it's sad to say. Most of us, we've been in this world 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. Watch this, watch this. And not a one of us, I mean, <laughs> let, me, let me rephrase that. Most of us have been in this world 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. And the majority of you cannot say that you actually have one friend. <laughs> I mean, you got an associate. You got constituents. You got people, a colleagues. You got acquaintances. You got all the superlatives. But do you really, truly have a friend that will stick us closer than a brother? Do you really truly have a friend, somebody that will actually really truly you have confidence that they will lay down a life for you? Some of you are married and wouldn't even lay down your wife life for your spouse. You hypocrites. <laughs> you flat out lie. Oh, you'll say it. You'll say it until some situation happens. Uh, for instance, you and your wife could be out somewhere and all of a sudden this 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 belligerent bully could come up and threaten you and your wife all of a sudden rather than you take care of business you're trying to appease the coward or trying to get out of the situation or either trying to run up under your wife's skirt or pants i need to say pants nowadays which is a sad shame but you know and, and then you think your wife has confidence in you <laughs> and and of course today in this society you ain't got to worry about too many belligerent men running up on any family because the wife 
We'll take care of it. Because <laughs> the men have been all but emasculated today. <laughs> I guess there's fluoride and, and uh, a snake venom and monkey pulse and, and the football games and drinking beer and everything else has definitely done a, a made you docile. Uh, but hey, you think about that today. Some of you don't have a, a real true friend. A, a real true friend is someone that they will comment when you're doing good. They will tell you about yourself when you're doing bad. Um, and and most of us want to build relationships on hypocrisy uh, to where we don't want anybody to tell us the bad about anything. We don't want to be corrected because we believe that we are the sum of all wisdom. Um, but I tell you, uh, the only reason why I get on here and I preach, I teach, and I make YouTube videos is because I'm just trying to stimulate thought. I'm just trying to help you to stimulate thought to get you to see what's going on because truth is, the reason why that after 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, there's a reason why you do not have a friend. It's simple. Because you have not ever showed yourself friendly. <laughs> so, no, you don't have a friend that's sticking closer than a brother. Because you're selfish, you're inconsiderate, you're all about you, nobody else. Uh, and, and if you did have what you call a colleague, a constituent, or someone who you would be friend, it's all about an advantage for you. It's all about how you can get a gain and make gain and make merchandise of them. Now, not really truly that you have it in your heart to be an honorable man or woman. And I know, hey, unless words, unless somebody gets on here and talk like this, um, we're not, well, our minds are not gonna be stimulated. We're just simply not gonna think so. You know, this is for us, everybody, because nobody's exempt, to really truly start looking at ourselves and seeing ourselves for who we really truly are. I mean, you think about this. The word is clean. And then you have an unclean man. That's what I am. I'm only clean because of the Messiah. That's it. Preaching a right word. And what happens is people get mad at me <laughs> because, hey, we're all born in sin, shaping in iniquity, but they think that I don't have a right to preach and teach. No, all my righteousness is of him. And I have a right to preach and teach because I've embraced the teachings of the Messiah. I embrace the teachings of the Most High Yah. And I don't make any excuse for it. So I'm not making no excuse for me. I'm, making, I'm not making no excuse for you. And I'm going to prophesy to the wind and keep on telling. And those who have the ears to hear, they will hear. So you think about this. And then you be careful of the company you keep. Because whoever and whatever you find yourself on a telephone, you call it telephone, which you continually keep, you're full of hell every time you answer the phone. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> You've got so much hell in you that it's even in your speech. <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing what's going on. Hello? <laughs> Man, I tell you what, anyway. Hello? <laughs> Oh, we don't think, man. We are some mindless minions. Are we not mindless minions? And then as soon as something don't go our way, we, we mama gripe, ball squall, and complain and belly ache <laughs> Like some pig. Yeah, I tell you, it's just utterly amazing. But And if you have a friend, or if you ever gonna have a friend, some of you still ain't got a friend. <laughs> but if you ever have a friend, you test them. You prove them, you try them. But, you know, before you can do that, you first got to be able to see yourself clearly. And you got to test and prove your own self. And the acid test for all of us is the Word of God, the Bible. Uh, because you can look at all these books out there, self-help books and everything else. Don't nothing do it like the Scriptures do. And of course, the Scriptures don't carry the same power and the same oof as when the Word is spoken. <laughs> That's when we get mad at people. That's when people get mad at Pastor Dow. Because they think that I'm personally attacking them when I'm actually just giving them the word. Because I love you enough to tell you the truth. And this, your mama and your daddy, your sorry churches, especially in Christianity, your preachers and your sorry lying teachers never did have enough love in their heart to do. Have I become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth, it's not my intent. So be it.